when I told her I wanted to be a fishing guide, she says, they're all a bunch of drunks and bums. You'll never amount to anything, which is probably where I am right now. <laughs> but We rate, all know better. <laughs> but, uh, <coughs> yeah, so I just, and I just always, I was a student of all the guides in the Keys. I'd read the newspaper, and I'd read about Joe Brooks and these guys catching these tarpon with fly rods. I got a fly rod. I didn't know what a fly was. But I, my mother got me a fly rod with uh, S and H green stamps, which used to be like you could collect enough right. stamps at the grocery store and you could get items. So, and it was a South Bend piece of garbage, and a rod in a C level line. It was like a level line, and I didn't know what a fly was, but I bought this thing. It was called a Bill Smith lure. It weighed a third of an ounce, had a big cork head and lead cast inside, of it, but it had feathers. So I thought if it had feathers. It, was a fly. it had to be a fly. <laughs> And I proceeded to thrash myself to death with it. <laughs> so I cast, cast it. Try, I couldn't cast it. to fly cast a, a jig. A jig. Yeah, I couldn't cast it out of my shadow. I just and I thought, I don't know the people that the people that do, catching those fish must be like superhuman. They must be superhuman. <laughs> How do they do that? You know, it said Joe Brooks could cast uh, seventy feet into a twenty mile an hour wind. I thought, holy crap! I can't cast it out of my shadow. <laughs> How does this work? Anyhow, I eventually I learned how to do all that stuff.